Buildings currently account for 30 to 40 percent of all energy consumption worldwide. If we want to reduce energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions, we need to relook at building design. The two-litre houses located in Ozzano dell'Emilia near Bologna, Italy, are a working demonstration of how to achieve this. What makes the project at Ozzano even more special is the fact that in combination with energy saving criteria, it also takes into account the environmental footprint of all of the materials and applications used as a fundamental principle of the design. When we started thinking about this project, we set three objectives. First, to build houses with very low energy impact. Second, to employ materials with low environmental impact. Third, to try to use all the innovative technologies which would allow us to reach the first two objectives. Using bioclimatic techniques and the best available technologies, we were able to reach this target and stay within the 15 kilowatt hours per square meter per year. The innovative and sustainable building and construction regulation of the local administration, the Commune of Ozzano dell'Emilia, was instrumental in the development of the two litre houses. The Ozzano dell'Emilia project was implemented based on citizens' demands, very interested in energy savings issues and high-tech buildings. The Comune made available a specific area where five houses were constructed and assigned to five Ozzano families. All the houses were constructed with a high-end solution in terms of energy savings. But what is life like in a nearly zero energy building? I participated in the Ozzano 2-litre house project both as a builder and as a final user. As a builder, I was able to verify and put in place new construction techniques which allow greater building speed at very affordable costs. As a final user, I can confirm that these technologies work, resulting in high quality living conditions and comfort with very low levels of energy consumption compared to traditional houses even among those with high energy ratings. The Ozzano complex is an excellent example of a sustainable residential building. However, the construction approach is also valuable for industrial sites. We are in Tebo at San Lazzaro di Savena near Bologna at the first eco-compatible warehouse in Italy. Eco-compatible means that it was built with materials that are 80% recyclable and it also uses 100% renewable energies and therefore generates zero CO2. We have combined technology with ecology and economic and financial aspects. This building consumes around 30 to 40% energy compared to buildings currently being constructed following the energy consumption law limits. The additional cost of the construction phase, up to a maximum 20% more, are paid off in a very short time. The two associations, AIPE and PVC Forum Italia, have promoted and continue to promote pilot projects which use the materials that the two associations represent, EPS and PVC. Both materials are used at their best to obtain the final benefit in terms of energy savings and environmental protection and can be recovered and recycled at the end of their life cycle within the existing schemes for plastic materials. The attention paid to life cycle analysis and to the environment guarantees a low impact of both materials and buildings. The structural and functional design refers to and is already compliant with three new EU directives. The first one is the proposed EU Construction Products Regulation, CPR. The second one is the new directive that requires new building to be nearly zero energy by 2020. The third one refers to the eco-design of all the components that will have to be energetically and environmentally labelled. So nearly zero energy building design for residential housing and industrial sites is not just a theory, it's a reality here in Emilia, and dozens of similar projects are already under construction elsewhere in Italy, following these same principles. Thank you.